So I wasn't going to do a video on this, but um, it's turned into a bit of a project. So the main title would be installing 12 volt off-road lights onto a 36 volt electric golf cart. Um, some components that I've got for it, I've got the uh, a set of Nylite 12 volt off-road lights. I've got their wiring harness, and I also am using uh, an Amazon 36 volt to 12 volt converter so that you don't have to connect to just two of the six volt batteries, thus draining them faster than the others when you're using the lights. So I've got all the parts I need. However, the problem I'm running into is that there is massive amounts of corrosion in the uh, on the terminals of all the batteries, as well as this was the charging post for the uh, for the batteries connected to. Uh, let's pull it out here. Connected to the charger port, which normally gets mounted here on the front side of the golf cart. Uh, but yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you can see the problem. And there would be a small wire on this side, which you can see that would normally be soldered or fused to, I mean, look how bad that is. Oh, wow. So it turned into a simple install some lights project into a full corrosion cleanup, electrical wiring repair, terminal scrimping, you know, that sort of thing. So I'll post some updates here. There'll be a number of video cuts and show you how I'm gonna go about doing this. First thought, was I would just solder this back on, but it is so corroded, no solder is going to connect to what's left of that. So here's what I found is a number six machine bolt with some washers with the cleaned copper wire wrapped around. Another washer, a little nut, so now the uh, ring terminal from the other side will go on to here. And then I'll use the washer and nut thusly to secure it. And this can also be the positive lead then to my 36 to 18 volt converter. So I'll show you what that. We got. So what happens is that this, this end goes to the other end of the charger, which then transfers the 36 volt power over to here. I was going to replace this ring terminal, but I, I'm working with what I got here. I'll clean it up and I'll maybe I'll wrap it in some tape. But this is going to be the power lead, 36 volts to the uh, red wire on the converter so i'll shorten that up and then crimp those together probably with a quick connect so that the converter can be replaced if it ever needs to be i'm going to show you what i got here we've successfully got the charging port reinstalled with the uh power here this will be the 36 volt power the corresponding ground to give us the full voltage is here i've got a quick connect here for easy disconnection I also have quick connects here and the positive and negatives that lead to the voltage converter. I have tested with the meter and I do in fact have 12.3 volts coming out with 37 volts going in. So she should work pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this from the battery system so I don't short anything and continue with the install. Here okay, where we're at. I've got the converter mounted here on the front bulkhead. All my wiring is loomed up. Anything that connects to power has been made sure to have a fuse installed. The relay for the wiring harness mounted on the front bulkhead. Everything with quick disconnects so it's removable. I used matching hardware on the front so that it's not obvious that there's anything aftermarket done on here. So now what's left to do is to drill a hole and mount the switch up front and then decide where I want to install the lights for the left and the right. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is probably mount them right up here or right behind the roof uh, frame. Not entirely sure, might wait for the vehicle owner to tell me where he wants those. That's the wiring. So far so good, completely serviceable. So from battery positive, goes to the repaired charging port where we tee off our full 36 volts. It goes to the voltage converter. Ground connects over here to complete the circuit. If you picked a different ground, you might get a different voltage. Same thing with the positive, so you wanna make sure that your positive and negative that you pick 
gives you your full 36 ish volts and then from the converter we've got the nylite pre-built harness with built-in fuses there one goes to the relay and you've got two bundles that i've already routed underneath the vehicle which i'll drill holes along these rails for zip ties sorry hit the button so that we don't drag our wiring harness so we've got a connector there that comes up that's disconnectable for the switch in case the switch needs to be replaced and then we'll loom everything up underneath here as well so that we can uh, mount the power supply wires to the lights and so i finished it so let me show you completed installation we've got battery positive goes to the charging port we pull power out the charging port that goes to our 36 to 12 volt converter has an output of 12 volts through fuses which i included some extras in a baggie here which then goes under the vehicle and ties up inside where i've got i don't think it's a, yeah, a bunch of the harness all zip tied two mounted lights thusly with a switch mounted here which illuminates, lights are on. It's not switch 12 volts, so yes, if you have them on, leave them on, it'll drain the battery. Um, but it should be pretty obvious if you do that. Uh, other than that, I'll wait till dark and aim and adjust the headlights, and mission complete.